Jared Leto. <laughs> Quite the Joker, isn't he? Ah. Uh, <laughs> J. Gregory is Alba here. Jabby Coe. Jabby Coe. Jabby Coe. Jabby Coe. Say it three times in the mirror. He'll come out and kill you. Jared Leto. Uh, apparently, he's he's not too happy with what happened with Suicide Squad, as all of you know. According to the fan report in Batman News, Jared Leto was very honest about the film this weekend. His disappointment in what he's learned of the theatrical cut, yet he's still not seen the film, feeling sort of tricked into being a part of something that has been pitched to him very differently, thinking it would have been more artistic than what it became, feeling overwhelmed by the hate regarding the look and choices. And he also did mention how he felt he shot enough Joker scenes that could have made a whole movie. Yeah. And how he shouldn't be rock climbing because it's dangerous and against his contract, but he just keeps showing that he's gonna keep rock climbing. The whole Leto they, VW Donna termination. They, they, they could sue him for that. They could sue him for that. However, I think DC and Warner Brothers are kind of used to people hating on them. It's only a matter of time until one of their own turns against them. He's got fuck you money. What's that mean? Jared Leto. He's got fuck you money. He's like, he doesn't give a shit. He, it, him doing Joker wasn't for the money, it was for the uh, opportunity to do a cool role. And that's why I think Jared Leto can totally get away with this. Because this is only increasing his fans wanting to see more of him as the Joker. Mm. Like, wishing they could just have seen the scenes that Jared Leto, like, really feels should have been in the cut. According to this article, they cut out, like, 99% of what he shot. He only has about, like, 5 to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, maybe, in, in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Because everything's just a quick cut to him. You don't get time to get to know his Joker. You could feel there's probably a great performance there <laughs> if I could just see it. It makes him feel like an afterthought. Yeah, like I kind of didn't give a shit that he was in the movie and he felt kind of pointless to a lot of the story. He felt just overall that this film shouldn't have been PG-13. Right. And it's really cool to hear like one of the stars of the movie say that. I'm really happy that Jared Leto is actually like... We've never had this happen with the Joker before. Jack Nicholson, especially at the time when he played the Joker, he really doesn't do interviews. Very rare where he'll do an interview and he didn't really start talking about his portrayal of the Joker until way down the road Like many years have gone by and then Heath Ledger he passed away before the Dark Knight came out and this It's like all we wanted was I wanted to see more than what was in the trailer <laughs> like that's just all we wanted like if they release like a, a Joker cut <laughs> of, of the like Suicide Squad yeah. Where they include all of it. I would absolutely watch it. I, I buy it right away in a heartbeat and it would suck if they released all that and everyone was like, that was the worst Joker I've ever seen. Do you think it's possible that, given how much footage they've shot, that they could go and release a Joker solo film? That's money that they could be making. He is the Joker. He's one of the stars of Suicide Squad. It's supposed to be an integral part to a lot of the other upcoming DC films, especially the Batman stories, of course. The fact that the star is actually strengthening his fans' desires to see more of him as the Joker by hating the studio, I don't think will end in his termination of his contract. I feel like this is just gonna help sell more tickets down the road, and this is help solidifying him to get more. It's a different story, but X-Men Origins Wolverine had a lot of hate and stuck shit, and, but then Ryan Reynolds had a few minutes in it, but people thought like he was great as Wade Wilson, and that he should play Deadpool, and then the fans really outspoke against Fox and everything, and they got their wish eventually. And I feel like there's something kind of similar happening here, where Jared Leto's fans are gonna like, pretty much whatever project he's in next, where he's really featured in the trailer, they're gonna make sure he's in the fucking movie. Because I don't think fans are gonna be happy if they, if they, if they fire him this and they is, cast someone else. This is unprecedented. Never have we seen a star completely talk shit about a studio and that's just propelling fans to Especially like, like a week make, after the movie yeah, came out. This, yeah. this is making fans cry out for him to play the role again or show more of his role as the Joker, but you're making a connection to X-Men Origins there, and I don't think that connection is there. Like, the, the reason why we got um, Deadpool was because Ryan Reynolds put out that, that leaked footage. It had nothing to do with X-Men Origins. No, but the whole reason that they even shot footage was because the fans wanted it. The, the fans okay. wanted him to be Deadpool. Okay. I said it's not... I won't argue with you, Greg. I get, I get it. You want to be right. That's cool. This has gotten me to the point where I'm like, they should just do a Joker movie. Like, it's some Joker movie. Where he, like, instead of him just being the villain, it's, it's at the point where Jared Leto is, like, feels so robbed. They could shoot some, like, movie down the road where it's just about the Joker. I heard The Killing Joke was awful, by the way. The cartoon. 
Well, they maybe stop just hearing people's opinions so, and go watch. No, what, my, my point in bringing that up is And I that don't really like them either. Which one? I saw The Killing Joke. I heard it also fucked with the source material a little, a little bit too much, but what I'm getting at is if they've already got footage that they've shot that they could potentially, like, or theoretically make a film out of, they could make money back and appease the fans. See, a different studio, different comic book, but for Days of Future Past, they made a rogue cut. Yeah. And... It wasn't really a rogue cut. It's just like, oh, this is the version where we have the few minutes of rogue in there. <laughs> Did you know she so, got paid like three million dollars? Sweet. Well, she and she was cut from the film. That's awesome. <laughs> that's just, she got her own special that's DVD release. Crazy to me. Cool. Well, you know, one thing that people that I saw. Wow. There's, uh, so, go ahead. I didn't finish my point. Right, go ahead. Do you listen when I go, talk? Go, or do you go, just go. talk. So I'm saying they could do right with doing a Suicide Squad Joker cut and actually give us like. A shit ton of Joker scenes, as opposed to oh, this is just a few more minutes of the Joker. Point done. I think it should just be a Joker movie. I don't think that it should be a Suicide Squad film. It should be well, but, a Joker but because he's because according to Leto, there is enough footage to make a Joker movie. It's gonna feel I don't I, know. I think he was just talking about the fact that there's so much footage, but that doesn't mean it's enough to make it into a cohesive story. That's why you'd have to go back and do some reshoots to pad it out. I think they should reshoot bits to make a Joker exclusive film. See, I don't. I wouldn't go. I don't think the studios would ever do that for like an actual theater release. Maybe, like, maybe a like one night. I don't event. know. You get like Kill Bill, where it was supposed to be one movie and they split it into two different films. I don't see why you can't do the same thing with this. It's a, it's different. We've never seen that happen before. That doesn't mean it can't be done. But what you're talking about is more the more likely scenario where it's just an extended edition. One counter argument that I've heard against Leto's frustrations is that you got paid, dude. You got paid to do your job. You were paid. Now shut up and go away. I don't like that argument. <laughs> That's a fucking unfair argument. He did, he did what he came he, to do. He, he did his performance. You do your whole, you, like, okay, imagine this, all yeah. right? You get cast as the Joker. Mm -hmm. You've put your life's work in the Joker so people, as, because people are going to see your performance as the Joker. All these stories start coming out. Jared Leto is promoting the fuck out of this movie. Yeah. And, and then the movie comes out and you find out, I'm not really in the movie. <laughs> yeah, but that's his job as an actor. Where he get, he's paid to be part of the promotional campaign. You're just playing devil's advocate, man. Like, if that happened to you, you'd be pissed. Of course I'd be pissed. <laughs> yeah. I, you're damn right I'd be pissed. I, but the thing is... He did his job. That was his sure. job. Unless you are a producer on the film or you're you're in the editing room, that's par for the course, man. Like you are subject to the whims of what the producers say. Okay, we'll, we'll make a WB and a Jared Leto list, and WB can have that one, and then will you look at the rest of Jared Leto's list? <laughs> you're looking at it from an artistic standpoint, right? But I'm seeing even the business side of it. I think Warner Brothers. If they just look at what Leto's talking about, he, they can make their money back by having a whole other Joker film. That's all I'm saying. No, people would totally watch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People would. I just don't feel like WB's the kind of studio to be like, you know what? It's a risky choice. Let's try it. I don't see what the risk is. I bet you... Well, they yeah, spent... it's already shot and stuff. So yeah. yeah. I, they spent so much money on the goddamn soundtrack to Suicide Squad. I'm sure that the cost to make a, a, an exclusive Joker film would be you know, a drop in the bucket. Actually, that's actually not more to think about. Yeah, it's what's going on. I don't like that he's rock climbing while he's shooting. I personally disagree he's with that. He's not rock climbing while he's shooting. He's not shooting anything right now, but he's still because he might shoot something later. Yeah, I, I, I completely disagree You're with You're really upset over the fact of his personal life choice to go rock climbing. Yeah, because that shit's risky, yo. I am a balance. I'm a happy medium, yo. Like, him, him doing this is just like Harrison Ford flying that plane and crashing. When we all thought that Harrison Ford was going to be in episode 8. I just think that's stupid to take chances with your life. You mean 7? We knew Harrison Ford was in episode 7. We didn't know he was dying in episode 7. We thought he might be in episode 8 still. Mm -hmm. So him taking chances with his life was just obnoxious. That's why I find this to be obnoxious. Like, don't take chances with your life when there's a possibility you might still be in this movie. You're gonna fuck up so much money there and make the studio have to go find someone to replace you. That's a good business point of view. From an artistic point of view, I feel like that he's that kind of actor that needs to constantly experience and constantly do what he loves doing and feel. That way when he does his job, he does a great job. All right. You can't cause him to repress what he wants to feel and do and experience. All right. Bottom line, what I love interesting about this is the whole idea of like people speculating like, is he gonna get fired? I really don't think that's going to happen. If anything, this is just going to make the extended cut or whatever come out. 
and this is gonna make the next film where he's like in the trailer, it's gonna, probably gonna make it a more rewarding time. They're gonna give him promises to which he'll have to return. I think he'll fight his way out of the contract if they don't honor his desires. Why, why doesn't Warner Brothers just give him you know, one of those automated rock climbing things so he can climb in his backyard? That's the same thing, huh? That's way better. It's safer. He'll fall on grass instead of a thousand... I think it's about the experience of doing that. Give him VR goggles. Give him Oculus Rift so he can feel like he's climbing shit. Not the same thing. It's about reality. Have you seen someone like feel like they're falling when they're using the Oculus Rift? They scream their heads off because they think they're actually falling. It, it controls your senses. Yeah, but I think in real life, you're, you're, you're smarter. Additionally, on Facebook the other day, their Oculus Rift is helping people to learn how to walk again. People who were formerly paralyzed are now are getting uh, a feeling in their feet because their brain is learning what it's like to walk again. Oculus Rift is the real shit, yo. He could just do Oculus Rift instead of taking chances with his life like that. That's all I'm saying. You can disagree with me. I don't give a shit. I just think that's dumb. Don't take chances with your life. That's it. Subscribe to Gregory's channel. <laughs> and subscribe to Jabby Koei. I still like you, Jared Leto.